This is Twit. I felt uh, at Sun as we looked at MySQL that one of the things that had made MySQL such a, a success story was that you'd managed to hold um, the technology community dimension and the business dimension in a creative tension with each other. And, and I, I saw often um, a, a, almost a contained conflict within MySQL. Do you think that that contained conflict was part of the success or uh, would you say it's better to remove the um, the uh, unrealistic outlook of the the community geek and focus on the business dimension? Yeah, well, wasn't it John Dor of Kleiner Perkins who said uh, no conflict, no interest? And and I just read a quote by Peter Drucker when he said, uh, if you if you all agree, don't make a decision. Or something like, don't make a decision until you have disagreement. Uh, so I do think that in business, a lot of value is emanates from contrast. doesn't fully have to be conflict, but there's a contrast that you have to deal with and resolve. And it's exciting and it's stimulating and it gets your brain going. So, so therefore, you do need, you do benefit from what many see as conflict, I don't see that that bad. Like conflict is a much worse thing that happens when where people die, but but this is much much more like much less severe. But it still is something where you have to resolve two dimensions that seemingly don't fit together, but maybe actually they do. And I, I love that part of of the business, getting them to work together and and showing that there is there is no inherent conflict. There's just a question of what is the long-term goal and what is the short-term goal. So, so the open source is therefore wonderful. And I've said many times that the power of open source software is not that like-minded people work together to create something great. The power is that unlike-minded people work together to create something great. Meaning in open source software, you can collaborate, even though you completely disagree on everything, because you've agreed on the rules of the game. And, and we have a similar effect now happening with, with Hacker One, where we set the rules of the game, and there's a lot of different opinions on what's, what the technical interpretation should be. But there's no question about how we engage, how you submit the vulnerability, how you receive the, the answer back, how it is rated and assessed and triaged. So, so we're trying to learn from how open source created this wonderful community where everybody can hate everybody and yet everybody's working together.